Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and help me nerd out on some leather today. I wanted to show you perhaps one of the nicest pieces of shell cordovan that I've ever seen. It's just got an incredible bright shiny luster here. But we're also going to be looking at several other leather goods that we're shipping out today. And on this fat Herbie, take a look at the bright shiny mirror-like shine of this shell. Every piece of shell cordovan is a little bit different. And every now and then you get a special piece like this that's almost like a piece of glass. And this is ideally what people want in shell cordovan, something with a mirror-like shine to it. And then of course the feel of the shell when it's just right, it should have a nice roundness to it. You never want something that's too firm and boardy. You want to have a little bit of bite, a little bit of give to it, but also feel a little bit soft and round. Take a look at the inside of this one. Here's the customization. We've got hidden card slots underneath each of the sides here, again in the Color 8 shell. And a lot of people have been picking up watch bands from us. So I wanna show you a Color 8 shell Cordovan Apple watch band here. This one has black hardware on it. I really like our Apple watch bands because they're online, so they're super comfortable, especially in something like shell Cordovan. This veg tan leather will mold around your wrist. And speaking of veg tan, here's a veg tan watch strap that I've been wearing. This is actually the English tan Dublin. And take a look at how nicely the patina has developed on this English tan Dublin. We have another watch strap that's going out today. This one is in the natural chrome Excel leather. And let's compare the natural chrome Excel with the natural shell cordovan. You can see the shell cordovan here has a little bit more life to it. It's like a little bit more orange and tan compared to the natural chrome Excel, which is a little bit more earth tone. It's slightly darker. We have a traditional two-piece watch strap here. This one is in the black shell cordovan. And our two-piece watch straps are also unlined. So you get that great reverse side of the shell cordovan touching your wrist. So here's another natural chrome Excel piece. And this is a Horween leather belt in that natural chrome Excel. All of our belts are also unlined, so they're very, very comfortable. People have been picking up a lot of belts from us over the last few months, and I'm really glad to see it. We also make our belts in a few different colors. We have a brown chrome XL, and then also black chrome XL that you see here. This one has an antique brass buckle. That's our standard option. And I'm saving the most popular belt here for last. This is English Tan Dublin on our Harween leather belt. These are also unlined. For some reason, this seems to be our best-selling belt right now, which is interesting because I feel like a lot of people want to match their belts to their footwear. And I don't find a lot of people wearing this sort of English tan color footwear. The other thing that's a little bit different about our belts, we have these really neat teardrop shaped holes. And we're gonna wrap up the leather accessories here before we get to the wallets. This is a natural Chrome Excel vault key holder. I also have a black Dublin vault key holder. And for me, the black Dublin leather, this is the most interesting black leather around. I just find it to have the most amount of grain character of any black leather around. Most black leathers are just really heavily finished and almost look like paint uh, as opposed to leather. And I also have a few special ultraviolet shell cordovan key fobs. These are up on sale right now. The ultraviolet is a little bit more of a magenta color than the brand new violet shade. And this is a fat herbie here in that violet shell cordovan. So this would be a great opportunity to compare both of these colors. So the tall Herbie on the left, this is violet shell cordovan and the ultraviolet shell cordovan key fob. You can see the ultraviolet has a little bit more red and magenta to it, where the violet shell cordovan is just a straight up purple tone. And take a look at this amazing piece of shell. Violet shell cordovan on a tall Herbie. And I really like seeing the tall Herbies for a couple of reasons is this is the largest piece of leather that we cut for a wallet. This huge exterior on the outside of a tall Herbie. I love a large context of leather. It gives you an opportunity just to see more of it. And on the inside of this tall Herbie, we have violet shell cordovan card slots. And let's have a look at a couple more fat Herbies that are shipping out today. This is the most popular Chrome Excel color in the world right now. This is natural Chrome Excel on the fat Herbie. I really like the Fat Herbie wallet as a back pocket wallet wearer. I love wearing my wallet in the back pocket. And the reason I like the Fat Herbie is because it lays thinner in your back pocket. And that's for this reason on the inside. All the card holders are separated. We don't stack the card holders on top of each other. So even when you fully load this up, and I put four cards in each of those slots, even fully loaded up, it remains quite thin. Here's another beautiful Fat Herbie. This one is color number four Shell Cordovan. And for a bunch of years, this was my my favorite shell cordovan color. Color four is a medium brown shade and it has a little bit of red 
tones to it that you can probably see. At certain angles, I noticed that the color four sort of does this color shift from a red to more of a caramel color, which I find very interesting. And on the inside of this Herbie, we've got a reverse interior. I also love reverse interiors for all these random die marks, and I like how this wears in. The reverse shell cordovan on the interior of a wallet tends to wear in to a point where it's a little bit more easily filled in and finished when this will get scuffed and scratched from rubbing against itself. And let's have a look at the little brother to the Fat Herbie. So we started off with the Fat Herbie, that was our flagship wallet, and some people wanted a, the same aesthetic of the Herbie with this exterior bill slot. They wanted that vibe on a smaller form factor, and that's how the Tony the Ant came about. That's this wallet here. Let me give you a size comparison. So we've got Fat Herbie, color four with a natural shell cord of Tony the Ant. You can see the Tony's quite a bit smaller. And like I said, this one is in a really nice piece of natural shell cord of This is about as light as it gets of a shell cord of color. The only lighter shade is actually raw natural. There's something that happens when they start to polish the shell cord of It turns a little bit more golden and orange, which is kind of fascinating. On the inside of this one, we've got more natural shell cord of Here's another Tony the Ant. This is in the classic color number eight shell cord of And a lot of people, when they hear the word cord of they think of this color. And Horween calls this color number eight. It's just an old, old tannery color name. And on the inside of this one, we have another reverse interior with incredible random die marks and a Horween ink stamp. Here's another great looking Tony the Ant. This one is in violet shell cord of and again, the Violet Shell Cordovan is pretty new. It's a little bit more of a straight up purple when compared to the Ultra Violet Shell Cordovan. Beautiful shade here. And on the inside, we've got more Violet Shell Cordovan. Here's a leather that I don't see very often, or I should say a color I don't see often. This is Brown Nut Dublin on a Tony the Ant. And I really like this Dublin leather for the natural grain character. And the Brown Nut is a color that we don't offer as a standard offering, but we do have a couple pieces available if you want something. And I have two more Tony the Ants to show you. This one is in my favorite shell cordovan color. This is Amaretto Shell Cordovan. And I love Amaretto Shell Cordovan because it sort of does this dramatic color shift from an orangey tan to sometimes a little bit more of like a reddish tan, depending on what angle you look at it. And I just find that color shift to be incredibly fascinating. And on the inside of this one, we've got a special 10 year anniversary stamp. So this must've been ordered during our 10th anniversary back in July. Looks like we've got some color four shell cordovan on top of some black shell underneath. And the last Tony the Ant to show you today, this is color number eight shell cordovan again. And it does have a little bit of a color shift on the color eight as well. And on the inside of this one, more color eight shell. I really like the interior center of this one with the Horween ink stamp and the random die marks. We try to cut the Horween ink stamp into each wallet into a visible spot whenever we can. Each piece of shell cordovan only gets stamped once with that ink stamp. So sometimes it can be hard to cut into good spots. And here's a great example of what I'm talking about. This is that Horween ink stamp on a Bugs Moran. This is reverse color number eight shell cordovan. The reason we like this is because it shows off the ink stamp and those random die marks I keep talking about. Let's have a look at the inside of this one where we have more reverse shell cordovan. So here's a custom variation on the Bugs Moran on the right side here. These are the vertical card slots. So we have two card slots on the right side with this sort of hidden card slot underneath. And then these are our traditional standard card slots for the Bugs Moran on the left. One more Bugs Moran to show you today. This is color number eight shell cordovan. Again, that dark brown burgundy shade. It's a classic cordovan shade. And on the interior of this one, we have more color HL cordovan. Here's another custom wallet, sort of a blast from the past for me. This is a wallet that we call Louis Little New York. It's an asymmetrical card holder, so it doesn't fold uh, symmetrically. <laughs> so you get this little bit of two sections on the left and the right. So the left side here, this idea was to have your most used credit cards go on the left side and the right side was designed to fit US dollars folded in half. The other interesting detail about the Louis Little New York is this skived and turned edge. This is something that we were doing back in the day and we would do it if, with a couple different colors. So you get an interesting two-tone look on the outside of this wallet. And we have a couple custom Capone money clips today. This first one here is marbled cigar shell cord of this is a color we don't see very often. It's kind of like the marbled color H shell, but a little bit less burgundy on it. This one also has an antique brass clip on the uh, outside here that we can do by request. And on the inside, we've got more marbled cigar shell cordovan with the 10 year anniversary stamp. And here's my favorite texture that Horween offers. This is the Western texture on what looks to be either whiskey or natural shell. It's hard for me to tell in this light. I think it's whiskey shell cordovan. 
which is a really great shade and I love the Western texture. On the interior of this more Western texture, you notice on our Capone Money Clip, we have the, what we call Baby Ashland stamp on the right, where we do not have the A Circle logo. It's a little bit more of a minimalist style, so we put a little bit more of a minimalist stamp on it. And to round it off today, we're gonna look at a couple minimalist wallets. Look at this guy, reverse blue shell cordovan on the Frank the Enforcer. But this is a variation on the Frank the Enforcer where we only have one card slot on the front and one card slot on the back. Check out the random die marks on this reverse blue shell. I think I do have a few more shells that are just like this and they're all really cool. I love these sort of drippy blue marks. Another Frank the Enforcer here in my favorite shell color. This is that Amaretto Shell Cordovan. Let me see if I can demonstrate the color shift here. So as I spin this around, you might notice it gets a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Some angles, it's a little bit more orange and other angles, it's a little bit more red. Here's a look at the back side. We have one card slot in the back, two on the front, and then there's one larger card slot in the center here, which was designed to fit US dollars folded in half. Another Frank the Enforcer in that very popular natural Chrome Excel leather. You can see the tonal variety in this Chrome Excel where the surface is a little bit darker and more brown. And then you see these lighter bits of undertones. That's because the Chrome Excel leather has so much wax, oil, and grease tanned inside of it. When you flex it, you sort of mobilize those waxes and you get this sort of tonal look. Then you can rub that color back in just with a little bit of friction. Uh, the heat will mobilize the waxes back into place. Here's a look at the backside of this one. And the last wallet of the day is a coin pouch. And again, what I think is the best black leather Black Dublin. Take a look at that grain character of this Black Dublin. So this coin pouch was a request that we were getting very frequently from our friends in Japan that like to carry a lot of coins. It, honestly, I can't remember the last time that I've wanted to carry coins. People have been picking up a lot of coin pouches. It's a very simple design that snaps closed right in the top like this. So thanks for checking out the video today. I wanted to show you again, perhaps the best piece of shell cordovan that I've ever seen. Just the mirror-like shine on this guy is uh, incredible. Really great piece of shell cordovan here for a special customer. And everybody that has picked up a wallet, you probably saw, it's a good chance you saw it in the video today. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.